Hi guys and welcome back to another foiling video. I am playing around with mink mediums today and I am going to show you what I've done. So I've got the mink mist, the mink paint and the mink uh, art screen uh, ink and I've die cut a whole heap of um, numbers that you saw there and I've also cut up some pattern paper and some cardstock. So the cardstock is from my stash and the pattern paper was from my December um, document kit from Kitaholics Kits. And I did use some colour shine and I just flooded that on that red piece of cardstock. I wanted that in the background. And I've got this art screen. I'm pretty sure I got it from Studio Calico when I did one of their classes. So I'm just using the art screen ink and a scraper and putting it on this piece of cardstock. Now I've never used these screens before so it kind of tore the edges of the cardstock but I'm not too worried about that. So I decided to do some experimenting. That's a um, homemade uh, stencil I've got there and I pulled my whip spackle out and I'm going to mix it with my mink mist. Now if you've ever worked with whip spackle before you know it's not a runny medium. When I added this mist into it, it made it quite runny so I was a little bit worried that it wouldn't be as textured as I'd like but I was quite surprised with the results. So I'm just um, putting it through the stencil onto this 3x4 card and that pattern paper is from the December document kit from Kitaholic Kit. And because the paste kind of turned out a bit runny, I did kind of scoop some up and dab it down on the dots to make it, um, try and bring it up a little bit higher so I could get a bit more texture on that card. So I'm on to my next card and I've just got some painter's tape and masked um, part of it off and I'm going to get the mink paint and here we go, the mink paint and I'm going to paint the card. And I'm just going to paint it below where I've masked it off so it's kind of on a di diagonal there. And that's it for that card. I'll pop it aside to dry and move on to the next one. So I thought I would experiment again. I pulled these out from my stash and I am going to mix the texture paste with the mink paint and use it on this little Heidi Swap um, stencil here. Um, and I do believe I splatter some I don't know if I do it on this one. Let's see. No, I just leave it like that. And the, guys, this stuff is so sticky. It dries so quickly. You have to wash after every single application. So I'm using that same paste onto this card with the same stencil. And putting that aside to dry. And I wash everything. Um, after each card I use, I wash everything and I'm just pouncing some of that leftover messily onto this number that I die cut. So I've got my die cut numbers out and I'm going to mask them off and use the mink paint and just paint um, parts of them just under the painter's tape. And I do that for a few numbers. And I'm sorry if this video comes out sounding a bit random. Um, iMovie is just freezing up on me. It's it's really, really an annoying me, really. <laughs> um, I'm getting so sick of this. Um, and I'm just masking off these other numbers here. And I'm going to paint them with the mink paint as well. On to my next piece and it's a 6x8 piece of pattern paper from the December document kit. 
I grabbed the mist and I sprayed directly on it. It came out quite thick and it doesn't come out like a spray like um, the color shine so it does come out quite um, streamlined not like a fine spray so uh, just be aware of that if you do use the mink mist. And while I was at it I thought I'd do some doily so I did try and use this um, stencil with some of the mink paint it um, ended up not really working <laughs> I don't know the doily was very thin and the paints quite um, goopy I don't know what another word would be for that um, but I just end up freehand and the stripes and I really don't mind that messy distressed look I absolutely love it and I do paint a wood veneer as well on to my next card and I'm just going to freehand some um, painting with the mink paint and just color in or paint um, some of these gifts on this card And this was a chipboard uh, die cut I cut with my Cameo and I'm just going to paint that with some mink paint as well. And then we're going to get on to the minking. So I did do all, uh, use all the mediums in the morning and put them aside to dry and now it's the afternoon and uh, everything is completely dry except for that big 6x8 piece with the um, sprayed on mink mist. And I'm just going to load everything into the carrier sheet and pop it through my mink on a heat setting of 3. And just a quick note that even though everything was dry, after I'd ran it through the mink, um, things still got stuck to my carrier mat. So I am going to keep this mat just for um, when I use the mink mediums. I've got other mats, uh, carrier sheets that I'll use for my other um, foiling projects but yeah this mat kind of got a bit damaged and here's all the reveal of all that I put through. So I'm just showing uh, the results and this was painted along with that five um, and then these ones were the ones that I used the texture paste on. Now running it through the mink kind of flattened it a little bit but if you run your hand over it you can definitely feel the raised dots and I'm really really pleased the way that these came out. So just popping my next lot of um, cards and that in and I'm going to run them through the mink and then show you the reveal. So this was the whip spackle and I did um, sprinkle some of that mink mist on there but I'm really happy with the way it came out. You can feel the raised um, dots on it and it's very distressed looking. Um, the number one was that distressed painted look. No that's right I used the, um, the whip spackle on that that's right and the art screen on this one with the art screen ink and a bit of it seeped through but again I'm not worried I love that look <music> so 
so just running some more through the mink and I'm showing you that six by eight it is nowhere near dry I'm gonna have to leave it overnight in fact I don't um, mink it on camera but I will show some photos of what that looks like at the end of this video and the doilies came out all distressed looking and I absolutely love it um, I use doilies for layering or I cut them in half and use them hanging off the page so I think these are perfect for my December daily And just showing my last lot of things this is the painted present card that I painted um, what else have we got the number six that I painted and oh the number two the very distressed number two um, I love how they all all came together so um, yeah a bit of experimentation but I'm happy with the results and that's it for me today guys don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe check out my facebook group i'll have photos of all this stuff in there and i hope you have a crafty day i'll catch you on my next video bye